everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my July favorites. So I've been testing out a lot of new products and there are some older favorites to mix in, but especially new products. Everyone, every company has been coming out with so many new products and a lot of them are really good. So I thought I would share my favorites for the month. So let's do this. Let's start with what's on my face. I'm in love with this foundation. I'm just announcing it publicly now. I am in love with this foundation. This is the Urban EK All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. I'm in love. My skin has been all over the place lately. I'm not sure if it's like the weather or just am I going through puberty again? I'm not even sure. My skin, instead of being really dry, has been really like combination, some oiliness, which I am not used to dealing with anymore. And this foundation is everything. They say waterproof, they're not kidding. I legit have a uh, swatch on my hand, took a shower, it was still there. I had to walk outside sweating like crazy. The foundation was still perfectly in my skin. So if you want to see this, I'll link it down below. I did a full video wearing it for 12 hours and it looked fine even without primer or powder. But I do use some powder with it nowadays and I adore it. It does seem pretty light uh, when you first swatch it. I have the color 325. Uh, in the naked skin, I use 3.5. So as you can see, at first it looks really pale, but I'll show you at the end of the video. Actually, that's the one I'm wearing on my face. So you can see that it does dry a few shades darker. So I would say to probably go with the colors you would be the naked skin. Actually, if you have a try the two foundations or know your colors, at least put them in the comments so that way we can help help each other. But in my case, pretty much the same color would work on both cases. So yeah, this is the one I'm wearing right now. I adore it. It is really lightweight. It doesn't emphasize my pores. I'm not wearing any primer underneath. So that's what I'm wearing on my face right now. And I'm not wearing any primer or anything. And it looks awesome. If you were looking for a new uh, foundation for a summer that is waterproof, I recommend trying this. It, it's awesome. It didn't break me out. And I've just been wearing it pretty much every day. I think the only day I haven't been wearing it ever since I tried it was because I was testing another one. So that says it all. I adore this. So with the magic of editing, I can show you the before after. As you can see, it is so much darker when it's dry. So do not choose the color when it's wet. Always wait for it to dry if you go in store. It's gonna look really wet when you first swatch it, but don't buy it based on that color. Going hand in hand with this, I've been loving the Maybelline Better Skin Powder. Again, my skin has been more oily and I usually don't or use very sparingly any powder, but my skin has been all over the place and this is just a lifesaver. My skin, loves this. Even the days where I am not wearing uh, any face product, I still feel like my face is too uh, shiny. I use this and it looks like I'm not wearing any makeup. I adore it. There's a little bit of coverage with it, but it's not so intense that it's too much. It's just fantastic. Highly recommend it if you were looking for a new one. There is some salicylic acid, so it's supposed to help treat acne at the same time. I don't have a lot of breakouts, so I'm not sure how much it helps, but I love the way it looks on my skin and I know a lot of people were also mentioning that they are loving this, so it's fantastic. It's in my favorites for sure. I'm not sure if it's going to be up before this video, but I filmed a video doing first impressions on a lot of product, including this is simple size, but oh my god. This is the new uh, Tarte Tartist uh, Lash Paint Mascara. I'm in love with this thing. It's so so crazy. I don't like to spend a lot of money on mascaras. I usually am like drugstore at heart, especially for uh, mascaras, but this is awesome. Uh, it's a pretty big uh, plastic brush, but it gives me length, lift. It's just awesome. I'll link it down below as soon as it's up so you can see it, but I'm loving this. I will be up continuing to use the sample size, obviously, and if I still feel like that at the end of it, which probably will, I think in November during the Sephora sale, I will buy a full size because don't like to spend money on uh, mascaras, but this is a really great one. The eyeliner I've been wearing a lot lately has been the Wet n Wild This is the Felt Tip Eyeliner, which I have uh, all in my last uh, drugstore haul video. And I'm loving this. I know a lot of people wanted to know, but this is really waterproof. It stays well, but it still is easy to remove at the end of the day, which it was my issue with another one of those uh, Wet n Wild eye uh, eyeliner, which could not be removed. This one is fantastic. I feel like it's really great in between. It's really black. It could be a little bit more precise because it is a felt tip, but at the same time, I'm at that point that I don't mind using something else a little bit in my inner corner, but again, on its own, it's still a really great one. So this has been the one that I've been wearing pretty much every day. This month, I continue my decluttering uh, series and I did blushes. So obviously, if you declutter some blushes, it makes you remember some of them. And I realized that I hadn't worn very often this blush yet this year. And I'm like, why? Because this is like, Another love of my life, basically. If I could marry a blush, this would be a strong contestant for sure. This is MAC Spring Sheen, and this is 
is one of the most beautiful blushes ever. It does have like a peachy pink uh, color with a gold sheen to it. It's amazing. Again, if you don't like, like me, NARS Orgasm, this is awesome. It's a little bit more peachy than uh, NARS Deep Throat that I also really love, but if you like something a little bit more peachy, this is awesome. I'm not wearing this, but I should. It's so beautiful. It's really just... It makes your cheeks look yummy, if that makes sense. Another product that I discovered this year and I'm loving for my cheeks, the new Tarte highlighter, which I am wearing today. So that crazy glow is all coming from this highlighter. This is the uh, Exposed Highlight and wow, they were not kidding. Tarte does amazing cheek products. I adore their blushes. Like I could hoard them all, like gotta catch them all basically. That's what I feel like about the uh, Tarte blushes, but this highlighter is awesome too. It's pretty gold, so in my case, I'll be able to wear it more uh, towards the summer, maybe not all year round, but it's a great highlighter. Here you go, you can see it there. So during the winter, I won't be able to pull this off, but because it's the summer right now, I'm going ham on it, and I'm loving every second of it. Every time I'm trying to be like careful, because I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna apply a little bit, and I'm like, oh, it doesn't really show that much, and then I apply more, and I'm like, okay, I have enough highlighter for everyone, but. Not mad about it, not mad about it. So if you were wondering if this highlighter was worth the money, I think it is, it's awesome. Next product from Benefit, their brow products. They came out with like a ridiculous amount of brow products and I've been putting them to the test. I will do a video uh, including all of them on my brow so you can really see and decide which ones are for you, which ones aren't, and I will let you know my opinion at the same time. But my favorite so far are these two products. Obviously the Gimme Brow because I love the first one. Same thing with the new one. I have the shade three. I just wish they had fixed the one thing I uh, had problems with the original one is when you uh, bring it out, there's just too much product on the brush and you can make a mess. So you kind of have to like take off a little bit of it and then like there's too much product on there. Does that make sense? I know I wasn't the only one that had that issue, but it's awesome. If I'm in a rush and I don't want to do my brows, I just apply this and because there's a little bit of fiber in there, it just makes my brows look a little fuller. And even if I'm wearing anything else, I just put this on top and it's awesome. I love this. It does keep my brows in place really well too. If you have crazy brows, that might not be enough, but I do have, especially this one, my brows are always like doing this and this keep them in place unless like I'm swimming or something, which kind of makes sense. The second product is the uh, Precisely My Brow Pencil. I have the shade number four. So basically I'm three or four depending. And this one I've been loving doing my brows a little bit warmer. I keep going back and forth, warm brows, cool tone brows. I love them both and I think I can kind of pull them off. And they're not that warm tone, but still, I really like it. Adore this, actually, let me swatch it. It's really hard to swatch because obviously it's not meant to, meant to do a crazy swatch. Here are the crazy swatches. So you can see the colors. So obviously on this side, there's the uh, Precisely My Brows and this one is the Gimme Brow. That's what I'm wearing on my brows today, and even though I felt like in the morning my brows were doing their own thing, I think it kind of looks okay. So I've been really enjoying these and highly recommend them if you were looking for new brow products. Next, lip products. It would not be a monthly uh, favorites without having at least a bunch of lipsticks. And I just realized I forgot one in my purse. I'll try to find it and include a swatch. I adore also the MAC um, Coral Bliss lipstick. If you were looking for the perfect peachy everyday uh, lipstick, and especially if you think you can't pull off peachiness, peachy lipstick, whatever, you get me. Um, if you think you can't pull it off, I highly recommend that one because it is a cream sheen. It's a little bit more sheer. Obviously it's buildable. So if you uh, think you can't pull it off, you can just do one or two swipes and you can like make it work for you. And I adore this, it's in my purse. So I do tend to reach for it quite often. The other product is the new Maybelline Loaded, Loaded Bold Lipstick. As soon as I get my hands on all the colors, because apparently Canada doesn't have any of the shades, which suck. But as soon as I have all of them, I will be doing a full lip swatch video, giving you my uh, detailed thoughts on them. But so far, let me just talk about the colors I really like that I've been wearing a lot this month. I've actually worn both of these in a video this month, and I just adore these. I love bright lips, especially during the summer. And I've worn 810, which is Fiery, Fiery Fuchsia, and 815, which is Rebel Pink, a lot. I know a lot of people were asking me if this one looks like MAC Flat of Fabulous. And so this side, there's the MAC one, and the other side is the Maybelline one. I think it's a great uh, formula. So these ones are a lot more creamy than the uh, MAC uh, Ritual Matte Finishes, which I know not everyone likes. Personally, do. I love when they're drying, but 
This is really, really creamy. They still last very long. They do transfer, obviously, because of creaminess, but the formula eventually like dries down a little bit more and there's less transfer, but they last all day for me. I have no issues with these. And the other color, like I said, was Fiery Fuchsia, which is a gorgeous reddish pink. Kind of reminds me now of a uh, MAC All Fired Up. Why do I keep doing those awkward swatches? So obviously this one is the MAC one and this one is the Maybelline one, so dupe alerts. I'm planning on doing a new uh, MAC dupe video, so sneak peek, I guess, but the colors are very, very similar. The formula is obviously different, but if you think those are too drying, the Maybelline one are a great option and I just love the formula. It's really, really comfortable on lips and my lips have been really dry lately, so my face is oily, my lips are dry, what's going on? I swear I'm losing everything, but the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the uh, liquid lipstick in stripped, I'll include a picture so you can see it. I think it's a great nude everyday lipstick, especially when I'm a little bit more tan right now, so this is the perfect thing. It's a hint on a dry looking side, but it's still okay that I can pull it off. I feel like if it was a little bit more, it wouldn't be pretty, but I think it's just still okay, and I love the color. It's just the perfect nude, and I'm happy that I can pull it off because I feel like a lot of nudes are always too warm on me. Not this one. It's great. Recommend it. Last but not least, eye makeup. I've been loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in general. Uh, I've obviously been putting to the test the ma. I don't. I can never do this when there's like one French word, one English word. It's a mess. Modern Renaissance uh, palette. Didn't test all the colors yet. I'm working on this right now. I'm in love with this mauvey color. It's just. Everything kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, the color mauve actually in the Lorac Pro palette, which I'm in love with. But this one is a little bit more uh, grayish color. I'm actually wearing this a little bit in my crease and I adore it. It's fantastic. I've been like reaching for this palette pretty much every day to use that color. Obviously, I'm testing out the other colors soon. I hear it's the same thing for the single eyeshadows, so I will probably take a plunge and do it. So. Let me know your favorite colors. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what were your favorites this month because I want to know. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't miss any future videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.